Out of the Trump presidency and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu taking a break from a scandal involving his administration back in Israel for a trip to the United States. And today he met with the president at the White House. CBS 4's Mola Lenghi has more. President Trump hosts Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu at the White House today. We have, I would say, probably the best relationships right now with Israel that we ever had. The two friends have much to discuss, including the rising dominance of Iran in the Middle East. We have to stop this country that chants death to Israel, death to America. Iran must be stopped. That is our common challenge. Also, the White House is reportedly close to releasing its plan for peace between the Israelis and Palestinians, an issue the president has said is a top priority. What better if we could make peace between Israel and the Palestinians? And I can tell you, we are working very hard on doing that. President Trump's son-in-law and senior advisor, Jared Kushner, is in charge of crafting the U.S. plan. But there are questions over his ability to do the job after having his security clearance downgraded because of issues with his background check. Complicating the issue are tensions over America's decision to move the U.S. Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, a city both Israelis and Palestinians claim as their capital. This was a historic proclamation, followed by your bold decision to move the embassy by our upcoming uh, uh, National Independence Day. Meanwhile, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is at the center of his own investigation. Police questioned him and his wife separately on Friday over what news reports say was his possible role in a bribery scandal. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, the White House. While here in the U.S., Prime Minister Netanyahu will also address the annual conference of the American-Israeli Public Affairs Committee, or APAC for short. Netanyahu is scheduled to speak to the group tomorrow.